Okay guys, today I want to do a different type of video. I kind of want to talk about some things that have happened lately or within the last six months that uh, shocked me in one way or another and I feel like I kind of need to talk about it. It's, some of them aren't too shocking, but some of them are kind of like unfortunate events, you know, uh, that were unforeseen or some of them were just basically stuff that kind of stood out to me and I, I should have definitely like talked about them last year or whenever the time came but I just oh, I, I'm known as the re movie review guy you know I, I hardly ever talk about news or anything of that nature but I feel like I have to um, talk about these things I, because I've reviewed or thought about those these things as well in the past and yeah I just they really stood out to me the most so I feel like I need to talk about them it is possible that I miss out on some of the things that might have happened that are uh, also unfortunate within the movie kind of, you know, the movie sphere, if that even makes sense. But uh, it's either I just simply don't care about them or I've forgotten about them. But, you know, like I said, in this video, I'm just going to talk about a few things that have happened in the past few months that have stood out the most to me. And most of them, I think all of them have to do with cancellations. <laughs> what well, a lot of them uh, weren't too surprising, you know. Like I said, but it was just rather, rather unfortunate, I guess. First off, we have Alicia Vikander's Tomb Raider sequel that I think was going to release, but it got heavily delayed because of COVID and other stuff. And then it just flat out got cancelled altogether because, I guess, man, the politics, business, I mean, MGM lost the rights or whatever to the Tomb Raider series, um, I heard. And also had a pretty bumpy development as well uh, with multiple writers and directors. I mean, most of it is just rumors. Like, I just search this shit up online. I don't know how accurate it is, but all we need to know is that, nope, <laughs> Alicia Vikander's Tomb Raider sequel is not happening and definitely probably not in the near future might maybe possibly but i mean it's been a whopping five years since uh her movie you know uh her debut as tomb raider on big screen happened so yeah that's a long time i, I doubt we're gonna see a sequel at all even though they did plan one, and I was pretty hyped for one, since um, after watching the, the first Tomb Raider, or Alicia Vikander's Tomb Raider movies post credit scene, wielding those dual-wielded uh, pistols or whatever, um, and despite the film not really doing too well review-wise online, I mean, I thought it was well-received, but regardless, you know, <laughs> it still did well enough in the box office to warrant another film. Let me know what you thought about the film. I personally really enjoyed it. Uh, I, it wasn't perfect, of course. Uh, I didn't review movies back in the day, but I did do a short review on it on social media. A bit scuffed, but I was one of those people who thought that it was one of those video game movie adaptations that worked. In fact, I, I liked it so much that I remember that movie inspired me to... Like, I wasn't even a... I wasn't a big Tomb Raider fan at all. Like, I did play some of the older games just a little bit, but, I mean, I wasn't a big fan until I watched that movie in cinemas. I'm pretty sure that was the first Tomb Raider movie that I actually watched in theaters, and, that man, that that movie inspired me to play all three of the modern rebooted uh, Tomb Raider games. The one that released in 2013, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which released uh, later uh, in that year, 2018. Man, that they were an absolute blast and an absolute joy to play. So it's uh, it's pretty sad that the sequel is no longer because I that that was one of the, like the few things that I was really looking forward to. Um, yeah, I mean, since Angelina Jolie's Tomb Raider was focused or based on whatever like the previous games, the, the older games, uh, Alicia Vikander's ones were based on the modern rebooted ones so i feel like they 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 could have and they should have made maybe another movie or two you know because tomb raider is just one of those iconic series that just deserves that at least i mean hopefully we'll we'll hear some uh, more news about some other tomb raider related movie tomb raider raider related movies in the future but as for as for now psh, 
yeah, I don't think we're gonna see that any any Tomb Raider related series or movies um, in the next two years. It has been a while since I've rewatched the first movie, so my thoughts of it might have changed, but I will always remember myself liking it. Back when I watched it first in theaters five years ago. Man, nearly five years ago. Damn. Time has fucking flown by. Holy shit. Alright, next up, I wanted to talk about another cancellation, this time of the Fantastic Beast movies. Uh, this is something I wanted to touch base with as well because it's pretty big. I, I know a lot of people aren't a fan of the series, so they aren't really disappointed with this news. As a fellow Harry Potter fan myself, I'm not... I'm not a big fan of the th series either. However, you know, like I stated in my Secrets of uh, Dumbledore review last year, this uh, this this series is like a huge build-up, you know. We got the third film. Uh, apparently there were going to be five, and the most exciting parts of the, the, the whole story, it's an overarching story as well. It's like each movie is like a, a chapter that links up to the next and I feel like the more exciting parts of this overarching story probably happens like towards the end or like the fourth and fifth movies where it's kind of like building up to that uh very legendary fight I heard it was going to be about like Grindelwald finally like versing Dumbledore like that legendary fight you know so yeah I mean I, I feel like it, it definitely was getting better uh, but yes, I, like a lot of people, would have loved to see more about, like, Newt Scamander and Fantastic Beasts in general instead of wizard politics. Uh, I know this was one of my complaints in the third film and especially also the second one. But just by cancelling the series, like, flat out, I feel like just makes it way worse than actually finishing it because, like, instead of it being, like, a maybe mediocre but still... A fun or still semi enjoyable, maybe more enjoyable for others, uh, series, right? A completed, finished series. Now it's just known as the series that fucking bombed hard. But that's essentially what it is, honestly. Like, that's why I feel like they cancelled the, the whole series. I, I heard as well, like, it's because The Secrets of Dumbledore flopped in the box office hard like people didn't like it or i guess the majority of people really didn't really like it and they lost a whole lot of money too i'd assume so they just fucking scrapped that shit all together but yeah it is what it is um those two i'd say like the tomb raider sequel uh cancellation and the fantastic beast cancellation were basically mainly the ones i wanted to talk about and i kind of wanted to touch base about it briefly as well um, the, the, the whole, uh, madness that is the, currently, or like before a few weeks ago, maybe, uh, the, the madness that is the DCEU fucking revamp or like just fucking James Gunn scrapped everything and just wanted to build a new universe. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I, I don't want to talk about everything. I don't want to like give out like news or like tell you like oh this is what's happening who's staying who's going i don't know um it's still i guess rumors at this point who knows if news articles are making that shit up i'm just gonna tell you what i think about it and it's fucking brutal i mean henry cavill leaving the role of superman after he had confirmed that he was going to be you know making more movies like suddenly he just announced he was leaving that was i saw a whole lot of fans were just like crying <laughs> being angry and yeah it is understandable because he is you know he's superman i mean he's really good you know and just seeing him leave so soon like it's it's gonna be different and i don't know if it's gonna be different like for the better or for the uh, for the worse you know and i don't know uh, uh, all the other like is is fucking Ben Affleck not going to be Batman as more is Gal Gadot not going to be Wonder Woman as well because these even though I definitely do feel like Marvel have done a way better job in terms of like a, a, a whole universe like they've done a super like way better job than DC have right in terms of movies um I still really like the actors you know Henry Cavill um, Gal Gadot, Ben Affleck, I mean, even though the DCEU haven't, hasn't been, hasn't really been that good, honestly, it, it's been pretty poor, to be honest. 
I still really like the actors, you know, and it's going to be kind of hard to kind of shift away from that. But I mean, it is what it is. I personally feel like I enjoy like Henry Cavill and Gal Gadot. Uh, the most in the in the DCEU movies. So yeah, if both of them leave, then man, I heard uh, it's funny because I mean most of these are rumors, right? So you don't know what's gonna happen. It's all up for speculation, I guess. Uh, but I heard uh, Ezra Miller, uh, the Flash, you know, the guy who was gonna be. I th I think the Flash movie is still moving forward. Uh, this year, I think it's still going to release, and a lot of the other projects like Aquaman uh, 2 and something else, I can't remember, but <laughs> it's funny how they're going to move forward, but like, they, they're not even going to matter, honestly, in terms of the grand scale of the DCEU, they're just going to be standalone movies, which I mean, man, if you want to compare it to Marvel, I mean, you have to, right, superhero, fucking DC versus Marvel, you know what I mean, like, man, the thing I love most about Marvel movies is that, like, Infinity War Endgame, like, some of my favorite superhero movies, they all, they all have one thing in common, and it's, like, share, sharing this universe together. It's, it's just so cool seeing, like, uh, superheroes from other movies, like, join forces with superheroes from another, other movies, and having, like, this whole overarching and, like, intertwining and linking movie. That's, like, one of, uh, movie? No. Uh, intertwining and like linking story you know this overarching story right and man that's why marvel is doing it better right now even though phase four or whatever like was pretty underwhelming in a bit i will have to say though i think the, the thing that i wanted to talk about the most right other than the, all that other stuff is black adam <laughs> now i feel like the rock is or Dwayne Johnson is a poor, I don't even know. Is he extremely unlucky or what? Because, holy, like, immediately, almost immediately after, he does this so much, like, you know, like, promotion for saying, oh, this is his, you know, uh, the project, a project he's been heavily, like, what's the word? I can't, I can't even think about it, but it's, like, it's basically his, his passion project that is worked on for, like, 15 years or something and to hear it his character just gets scrapped like that man there was so high hopes for the future of black adam seriously <laughs> but then james gunn was like nope fucking nope <laughs> i mean who knows he could have a role in the future black adam might return but as of right now he is not being he is not in the first chapter of the dc the 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 new the upcoming DCEU, which we don't exactly know what's going to happen yet, um, but I guess we'll see. But I just think it's funny, like, he just comes out with that film, and then, bam, immediately, is fucking off. I heard he unfollowed, like, WB, um, I, he, he unfollowed the, the studios, you know, <laughs> it's funny, dude. On social media and shit, but, yeah, I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of Black Adam. I mean, like I said in the review, I thought they definitely could have done it better, uh, it was decent, but I still didn't, I, I, I'd said to myself, I said during the review, I said during my first impressions as well, like, it was going to be a stepping stone to the next big thing, you know, maybe, like, Black Adam vs. Superman, or Black Adam vs. Shazam, you know, where he, he belongs, honestly, um, like, that movie was going to be a stepping stone to the next big thing. It wasn't... It was an okay origin story. It didn't really have too much going for it, though. But I'm sure, like, once you would introduce Black Adam into the DCEU, things would get a whole lot more interesting. <sighs> so we thought. But uh, now it's like... <laughs> man, I kind of feel bad for him. Because now it's like... Psh, it's just gone out the window. Maybe it's for the better. Maybe. But hey, at least uh, the good one good thing Black Adam did was bring Henry Cavill and let us see him as Superman for the final time. But yeah, that's it. I think that's all I wanted to talk about for now. Uh, I, I don't know what else to talk about. I think that's the three major points that I want to talk about, okay? It sucks, you know? Too many sequels not happening. Um, you know, if it has to be scrapped, even though I would have definitely loved to see the completed version, like all five films of Fantastic Beasts, even though the films aren't really that good, I would have still loved to see the conclusion, but now it's just like, psh, like, it, may, it makes the 
films themselves, the one, two, and three, even worse now, <laughs> now that it's like not even completed. Oh man. But yeah, and also the whole thing with DCEU. I mean, a lot of people are like saying it's really like they don't like it and all that stuff. I mean, we'll, we'll have to see, you know, like if it could get, it could be better, you know, it could get better for DC movies wise, or it could get worse. I guess we will see. But yeah, oh man. I guess that's it, guys. Another thing to note, another thing I would really want to say, though, is I hope Jeremy Renner gets better. You know, I heard he was in an accident recently, snowboarding. I didn't really read too much into that, but yeah, I really definitely hope he gets better because um, I really like him as an actor as well. So yeah, hope he gets better. And also, Rush Hour 4 is apparently happening. Uh, this could be a rumor still. It could be a rumor still. It could, <laughs> I mean, they said that shit was happening since 2015 or something. I remember in 2016 sharing an article, um, on social media th that said, boom, you know, Jackie Chan, uh, Chris Tucker, both confirm Rush Hour 4 is happening. It's been fucking six years since that. If it happens, dude, honestly, like, it's, it's so crazy, man. I like the Rush Hour movies. Jackie Chan is probably my favorite actor of all time. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, I watched all of his movies, including his old ones. My favorite movie of all time is Twin Dragons, even though that is up for debate, but I just feel like that is because of nostalgia's sake. Um, and I also did I also did a case study of him in my final uh, presentation or my final project <laughs> for a uh, Chinese class. But anyway, that's besides the point. But yeah, I feel like if they really, if they released... Um, Rush Hour 4, if they did that earlier, like, fucking four years to, to five years ago, I would have been happy, but now, like, I, I did, okay, let me just say, I'm not gonna include the sources, you can search it up for yourself, but, like, back then, it was still a question, it probably wasn't gonna happen, but now, we've legit just heard that it is going to happen, but then again, that could still be a rumor, right, it's, 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 it's food for thought, basically. So I'm not going to say that, okay, it is definitely happening, you know, it's going to be blah, 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 blah. I'm just saying, if it does happen, it should have happened a few years ago, because now they are fucking old as shit, and I wonder what's going to happen. Uh, but I, I it, the comedy will probably still be there, but the action will be more lacking than probably the previous few films. But anyway, yeah, I guess we will see what happens. But yeah, I guess that's it for me. Um, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below. Like and sub if you enjoyed. And as always, feel free to check out any of my previous videos. Until next time.